Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are doing a really delicious apple and berry crumble. So simple, we've got some apples, we've got some sugar, flour, butter and some frozen berries and we're just going to make a really simple apple, crum apple and berry crumble. We'll also be making homemade custard to go along with this which consists of cream, eggs, sugar and milk and a little bit of vanilla essence. That is it. If you are liking my content guys, please remember to do the thumbs up, comment and ring the little bell for the being the notification notification squad. We're going to take our Granny Smith apples, take our apple, and take out the core, and just like so, we've got our apples here. We've just got some white sugar, some cast sugar, just a tiny little sprinkle. So this is probably not even 50 grams. And I'm just going to put a little splash of water. So we just want to stew these apples down. Put a pop a lid on that pan. So again, we're just going to remove the cores from the pink lady apples. Chop these like this, so minus the pips. And you can chop these a bit bigger if you would like, but we are not going to do it so so much. About 100 grams of sugar. So we're going to add 50 grams of plain flour. So we need 50 grams of butter. So we're going to dice this up, this butter, because what you want to do is rub it into the flour and I'll show you what I mean in a second because you want to turn it to like a bread crumb consistency basically. In here we have equal parts flour, sugar and butter and we're just going to literally rub it through our fingers like so. Can we? And that's all you gotta do. And this is the fun bit. With this uh, kind of mush them a little bit because we want we don't want them to be soft. Okay so we're gonna build our crumble now. So we're gonna put some of the Slow, half cooked green apple. I'll just put it all actually. Let's put all the green apple in there. This is going to be a really bustling crumble, guys. And we've got our pink lady, pink lady apples. So we have a preset oven at 180 degrees. I'll just make sure that was 180. Frozen berries, and we from our supermarket. And we're going to sprinkle these all over the top. And we're going to pack this quite full, guys. Because we want a nice fruity crumble. So lightly place the crumble all over the top. Okay, so we're going to make our homemade custard. Uh, with our homemade custard, we've got milk and double cream. So we equal parts milk and double cream. 125... And we're going to do 125 mil. Some Madagascan vanilla essence. I'm just going to put a few drops. This is very strong. We're going to bring it up to the simmer. We need sugar and some eggs. That's 20. That's 40. And that'll be one more egg. So three eggs for this amount of uh, milk. And you want to do equal parts egg and sugar. So we're going to add 60 grams of sugar. Just going to mix them in. So we're just going to pour a little of the milk and cream into the egg. This is so it brings the egg up to temperature, to the same temperature as the milk and cream. And we're just going to add it all into the bowl. And don't worry if this is on a direct heat. We're not going to scramble it, don't worry. Just going to make sure we get all the egg out of there. So now you want to take your whisk. Just put that up. And just constantly cook. And we'll just cook this slowly over the heat until it starts to rotate back on itself. And you'll see what I mean. So it's form these little bubbles now. But we'll just constantly keep it moving. While it's moving, the egg means it can't sit on the bottom and it can't scramble. So this is we're making a custard. It's very important. If you, if you walk away now, the egg will settle to the bottom of the pan and you'll end up having scrambled eggs on the bottom of your pan. Okay, that's, that's basically done, guys. And we put it for a sieve just to so we don't have any scrambleness in our custard. What we have here is a apple and berry crumble with an almond crumble on the top. Uh, we've made homemade custard here in the jug. And so what we did is we had some green Granny Smith apples. We chopped them up, put them in a pan with a little sugar and water, and we stewed them down. So they weren't completely cooked, but they were semi-half cooked. What we did with some pink lady apples, we chopped them up and we just 
drop them all over into the into the oven dish. For the crumble, we had equal parts butter, flour, and sugar. Mix them together, and what we did, we used the rubbing motion. So we basically just did this with our fingers, with the cold butter into the sugar and flour, and we've topped it with some plate almonds. For the custard, it's super simple. It's 120 mils of milk, 120 mils of double cream, with a tiny drop of vanilla essence in. You can use vanilla pod if you have it. We brought that to the simmer. On the side, we weighed up 60 grams of egg yolk, 60 grams of sugar, whisked that together. Once the milk came to the simmer, we poured it on the top, mixed it together, back into the pan, and cooked out until it was thick. Please remember to like with the big thumbs up, a comment down below, and ring the bell for the notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.